या अयुहा नास अल्लाह सुबहान अल्लाह ताला टॉकिंग टू टॉकिंग अबाउट मैन काइंड या अयुहा नास ओ पीपल ओ बुदु रब्बकुम ओ पीपल वर्शिप योर लॉर्ड योर लॉर्ड हु क्रिएटेड यू एंड हु हैज क्रिएटेड हु ऑल ऑफ यू लाइक ऑल बिफोर यू वाई अल्लाह सुबहान अल्लाह ताला क्रिएटेड यू बिकॉज that you may become righteous you may have a safe from a bad outcome so the lord who created you here we learn this is in surah al-baqara ayah number 21 onwards we continue nahmaduhu wa nusalli ala rasulihi al-karim amma ba'd so lord who has created you who has given you all of this blessing that you enjoy the lord who have we all have to return to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so the lord whom you have to return to and the one who will see what you have done yani what you have been doing all your life you are answerable for that he has made us we are going back to him so why not worship him he is our creator if we have not lived according to his directives then what will happen when we will return to him if we have not worshiped him in this life then what will happen and when we face our lord after our death on the day of judgment we will be in great trouble so he who wishes to be saved therefore eternity must surrender to his lord now the freedom in this life is temporary and it's for the test what will you choose will you choose to worship allah alone our lord or we will choose to worship others or desires or something other than from his creation so let's see this in detail so when it is talking about like how allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created and what is the purpose ya ayyuhan nas ho the people o oh, budu you all worship there is no choice o oh, budu it's imperative it's a command we have to do it we have to worship rabbakum your lord allazi hu khalaqakum he created you wallazina and those who min qablikum from before you all la allakum so that you all now allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing all of the mankind annas after talking about three groups of people muttaqin kafirun munafiqun like you know righteous people disbelievers and hypocrites he is addressing everyone all of the mankind the quran is for everyone quran is for all even if they are not muslims and ya ayyuha ya plus ayyuha ayu plus ha these are three words o you who allah is addressing mankind it is called harf nida nida means to call out to someone if you want their attention and if they are far when ya is joined with the ayu ha it gives the meaning of exclamation or warning basically to add emphasis to the address that is being made annasu noon seen ya to forget mankind is forgetful hamza noon seen to socialize to build friendship and love and there is one more root word noon waw seen to move a lot how many root words are there for annas teen three root words are there one is noon seen ya to forget and mankind is forgetful second is hamza noon seen to socialize to build friendship and love noon wow seen to move a lot so al gives the meaning of all not just the so all of the people the quran is for all mankind believers disbelievers he is calling out to everyone o budu ain badal ibada means to worship serve show humility and servitude out of love respect reverence but ibada is of two types 
specific worship how allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught us praying salah namaz every day giving zakah every year is also worship because we are spending our wealth as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taught us it is to do those things which allah like in the way he prescribed the second thing we learn general worship any permissible act that is done to please allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like you know kindly speaking to one another obeying parents and doing good with your relatives with your neighbors the way you eat sleep and it is beneficial for us to worship him the way allah likes ibn tahmiya was asked about ibadah he said it compromises everything that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves and approves includes which is apparent hidden not just about deeds and action also statements speech words it is approved by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not just about rituals ibada is whole way of life it's you could say a lifestyle it's not like you know for particular time particular pray place you are a slave of allah you are a muslim and then you are not no it is like completely lifestyle rabbakum rabbakum your lord creator owner planner sustenance nourishment taking care so khalik creator malik is the owner mudabbir is the planner remember the three words whenever the rab comes khalik malik and mudabbir khalik means create malik means owner mudabbir means planner so submit yourself to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should be our matloob what do you mean by matloob tal means to seek we should seek only allah we should seek only the help of allah you must be thinking oh we ask help to others of course that is but here talking about asking to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if allah wills every, everything will be granted matloob maksub means from kasab means to intend gold you know something gold and we should do everything for his sake to please him we try to make people happy but they are never happy you know allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appreciate our efforts and mahboob is from hub the one whom we love the most we should give him the most priority like how we give the priority to the prayers for example we are at workplace we give priority mahboob hub to prayers and we adjust accordingly to our schedule we have that priority so every messenger brought this message allah created man for the worship and it is mentioned in surah az-zariyat ayah number 56 wama khalaqtu al-jinna wal insa illa liya'budun allah didn't create man and jinn except to worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone so purpose of our creation is only for the worship khalaqakum kha lam qaf khalaq means to create something khalaq can be bringing something to existence first and foremost second making something from some material or matter that already exists and um, has they not come upon a time when he has not worth mentioning this mention in surah al insan ayah number 1 this is the third thing and also we learn it is mentioned in the quran say muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam verily my salah my sacrifice my living my dying are for lillah for the rabbul alamin so in the salati wa nusuki wa mahyaya wa mamati lillah rabbil alamin so our prayer our living our dying is only for the sake of allah so that is the way we should live our life qablikum is from qab balam he also created those people before you he is the supreme creator before time and place qibla is before you right and here laallakum gives the meaning of hope you know expectation it is hope that you will become righteous and save yourself and second thing laallakum also conveys the meaning of a reason behind an action 
uh, worship your Lord so that you can save yourself adopt taqwa and third thing also convey meaning of expected result of an action if this is done this will happen you understand how you make a flow chart and how you write a program and you know this will be the output so if we are doing certain kind of uh, action certain result will be there so when you are doing the obedient towards allah subhanallah ta'ala you are living a life accordingly the end result will be jannatul firdaus heaven we all want to go to heaven isn't it what will happen la lakum tattaqun you all protect safeguard yourself and in following ayah allah says allazi ja'ala lakum al arda firashan was sama wa bina wa anzalna wa anzala min as sama wa anzala min as sama so here uh, first uh, we'll go the detail on it this translation of this ayah is ayah number 22 surah al baqarah he is the one who has made for you the earth a bed spread out and sky a ceiling sometimes sent down from the sky rain brought forth thereby fruits <coughs> as provision for you so do not attribute to allah equals while you know that there is no one similar to him so you know that he alone has created you everything else except allah is the creator he alone governs the affairs of entire creation so when that is the reality then why would you associate any partners with him so o oh people do not do shirk do not give anyone the importance that allah has alone deserves so do not love anybody the way allah should be loved do not rely on anyone as allah should be relied upon hope trust tawakkul repentance all of this is only for allah alone so our lifestyle our ibada is only for the sake of allah so here we learn that allah subhanahu wa taala is talking about how allah subhanahu wa taala created so allazi who jala he made lakum for you all al arda is earth ard and earth is same firashaun a bed wa sama and the sky bina an a canopy anzala wa anzala wa means and anzala he sent down min from so tattaqun is from waw khafya wiqaya to take a shield you know protect from something taqwa is save oneself take protection from allah's punishment by doing what he has asked us to do and refraining from disobeying so that there are two things so that you attain taqwa means become conscious of him fearful of his punishment while you are alive so that you can save yourself literally meaning from punishment in the hereafter this punishment in the hereafter so allah subhanahu wa taala can only protect us why we should worship allah subhanahu wa taala because he is the creator rab lord and khaliq and we are his creation this is of a great favor to us so this is the first thing and whenever you make something you love it you you value it give it importance because it belongs to you we care for it we love we value that isn't it allah subhanahu wa taala has created us owns us and does love us so if he created us provided for us and love us should we not worship him alone and the second thing so that we can develop taqwa the consciousness and fear of allah several benefits of taqwa in surah al baqarah we learn in ayah number 194 he is with those who have taqwa and in ali imran allah says this janna is only for the muttaqin those who are righteous ali imran 133 surah at-talaq ayah number 3 whoever fears allah allah will make a way out for him from every problem so one
can't have taqwa until they do ibadah if you have one you will have the other it starts with the worship if you pray five times a day you will develop love and consciousness of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in hadith we learn amazing is the affair of believer when he is in good state he is grateful when he is in a bad state he is a patient like you know he is even a gratitude grateful shukar when he is a bad state is in like you know patient in sense sabr he is rewarded in both cases so when we learn this allah has allazi jaala and he made something jaala means jim ain lam jaala to make something lakum allah made for you all so here when we are talking about allah subhanahu wa taala has made this and this is the uh, purpose of the uh, creation so allah subhanahu wa taala has made us and give us this opportunity uh and let's see the detail and then i'm going to explain it allazi jaala jaala is from jim ain la jaala to make something lakum allah made uh, for you benefit and we learn uh, in uh, surah an-naziyat ayah number 27 and 28 uh, allah constructed the ha- heaven uh, and uh, made more difficult to creator or the heaven so allah subhanahu wa taala ask is it difficult to make the heaven difficult or the person you mean uh, mean to say mankind and surah al-kafir we learn ayah number 57 the creation of the heaven and the earth is greater than the creation of the mankind annas so we should worship him because he not only created us but everything and al-arda Uh, is from earth firasha is from farash in spread out like a you know mattress carpet cover cushion firasha you know firasha is like something laid out literally means to level or pave something the earth is spread out like a bed this can mean three things okay he has made the earth open and spacious for you you don't feel constricted the second thing he has made the earth for you as a bed yani like a place of sukoon comfort peace third thing he has made the earth suitable for you to settle live in this made it uh, habitable was sama is from seen mean wow and bina an is from ba noon ya refers to a structure something that is built can refer to whole so the structure or part of the structure can refer to the house proof uh, roof of the house or it is understood as a ceiling also or roof because firasha is used uh, before this also in different surahs in surah ar-raad we learn in ayah number 2 uh, allah subhan allah who erected the heavens above us without any pillars and also we learn in surah an-naba ayah number 12 he constructed above us seven strong heavens surah al-anbiya ayah number 32 he has made sky a protecting seal he has placed the sky as a ceiling above us for protection so protection from what is in the spaces meteors pa anzala is from noon za zai lam to send down from uh, upside to down like you know how revelation come from sky to the earth and as sama ma an as sama is the sky ma an water fa akhraja then he brought out bihi with it min from samarati the fruits samarat provision riskan as provision lakum for you fala so do not taj alu you all make lillahi for allah andadan rivals or equals so what here it is mentioned if you have any doubt about what we have given to our servants meaning this quran then produce one sura like there of this is an eternal challenge you know this is a book of allah here it is the truth the reality is that no one has ever been able to produce anything like the quran anything that matches the level of the quran anything that is similar to it so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says for this purpose you may even call upon your witnesses other than allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like you know call out your academics or researchers all of the best orators or authors of this world all of this like you know best poets first and the last the jinn and the men call upon them 
in kuntum sadiqin if you should be truthful so here allah is giving a challenge so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made us and sent the water from the sky and made all of this and, and not only that allah say or uh, sending uh, like throwing an open challenge and also says if you do not do and you will never be able to do it you will never be able to produce anything like the quran if you don't believe on it if you don't follow it you don't worship your lord then fear the fire whose fuel is men and stones prepare for those who disbelieve this is a message for everyone all those who find the quran problematic all those who reject the existence of god this ayah is challenge to them look at the quran and compare it with any other book does anything even come close to it eloquence or power effect the content the style of the book no there is nothing absolutely nothing therefore the study this book read the book and know your lord if you want guidance hidayah read quran if you are in doubt raib shak then remove that doubt and shak so here let's see detail with the word meaning so as sama refers to clouds ma and water rain snow hail in surah al waqiah we learn ayah number 68 and 69 have you seen the water what you drink is it you who brought it down from the clouds or allah fa akhraja is from kharajim kharaja means to exit akhraja means he has brought out and as samarati plural of samara so mim ra translated as fruits however does not only include fruits it refers to the product of the process means like a fruits grains vegetables so all produce plural is used to show variety samarat refers to all fruits grains and vegetables metaphorically means fruits or of efforts you know risk and it can be like uh, meant by provision also just not fruits samarat so that's the reason it uh, plural is used and here riskan ra uh, zai qaf provision everything that is a source of nourishment for us lakum for you means for our benefit taj alu jim ain la set up or place andadan noon dal dal plural of nid someone who shares their work their status their position their characteristics one who is equal to another like a pair nid gives meaning of rival doesn't give positive meaning don't set rivals when it comes to worship and attributes wa antum ta'lamun means while you all ta'lamun you all know wa in kuntum and if you all were fi in raibim any doubt mimma from what nazzalna we have sent gradually sent down ala upon abdina our servant so here ta'lamun means ain la mim is a root word while you know that he is the only creator even non muslims believe in supreme being but they worship others in addition to supreme being so no one is similar to him so this aya why we should worship to allah subhanahu wa taala two things he provided us with the most comfortable complete lodging he has provided us with the sustenance provision two things we learn he provide most comfort complete lodging and he has provided with sustenance and provision and we already learn from surah al abasa ayah number 25 to 32 all things that allah subhanahu wa taala made and in the following ayah we learn raib is from ra ya ba raib doubt shak nazzalna noon zaila to gradually send down something gradually like part by part like slowly gradually so quran was also sent down gradually it wasn't like other books how other book was sent in one shot but quran was sent in 23 years so 
is used nazzal na na with the alif is used for which refers to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala na is only used for v which refers to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala plural is used for royalty you know somebody is queen we we how we address them with the royalty this is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala majesty so that that is the thing abdina our servant slave refers to prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was a human being like us it's an honor to be the slave of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first allah talks about worshiping him then he talks about his worshiper in hadith we learn aisha radhiyallahu anha narrated that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam arrived home and lied down beside him he rose up and uh, said let me worship my lord he prayed and wept so much in ruku and sujood he remained in this position until dawn so when bilal arrived and saw him he asked him why do you weep when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forgiven you pardoned you for all your sins he replied should i not be a grateful servant so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was ideal abd servant is the example for us when we worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is a slave of allah we should do the prayer out of sincerity ikhlas khulus and in the matter of uh, religion the way he taught us how to pray the way he taught us the manner we should do but here throwing an open challenge fatu bi surat min misli pad u shuhadakum min dunillahi in kuntum sadihin fatu bi surat like uh, when you all come with the surah chapter min mislihi like from it like you know something similar to it wad u and you all invite shuhada is from shaheed means your witnesses men from duni besides other than allah allah in kuntum if you were so here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about fatu is from hamza ta ya ata literally means to come when it is followed by b it means to bring so b suratin seen waura uncertainty is that the quran came from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you have doubt about it its authenticity then bring a surah like it if it was fabricated then anyone could produce similar aya uh, as there were people who were more eloquent so allah is throwing a challenge okay you are thinking uh, this surah you can bring it or something similar to a mislihi mean salam like it you know like uh, like of it or the knowledge or the way it is so wad u from dal ain wow to call invite dua to call allah we call to allah isn't it dua also same root word and dawa the same root word dawa what we do we call to people towards islam and shuhada is from sheen hadal it is used for witness but plural of shaheed a witness a witness testifies to an act crime that was done he can only testify if he sees it himself and a shaheed someone who observes or watches so aya says to call upon your witnesses to see you're producing something like the quran witnessing impl- implies supports or helpers sadiqin is from swad dal qaf uh, like you know ones who are truthful so here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying if you are truthful bring like it can you bring sadiqin is from swad dal qaf plural of sadiq sidq is truthfulness this aya is a challenge for all mankind the arabs were given this challenge the arabs had only one thing that they could take pride in language and eloquence the quran was a miracle in its style eloquence language it could not be imitated or copied every miracle that was given was according to the time prophet musa alislam that time magic was popular at the time of isa alislam medicine at the time of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam language poetry and message and miracle in one suratul yunus we learn in ayah number 
चैलेंज टू ब्रिंग सूरा लाइक इट चैलेंज टू ब्रिंग टेन सूरा लाइक इट एंड सूरत तूर वी लर्न इन आया नंबर थर्टी फोर लेट दैम प्रोड्यूस अ स्टेटमेंट लाइक इट दे कैन दे कैन ब्रिंग द अल्लाह इज शोइंग दिस इज लाइक अ बुक विच यू कैन प्रोड्यूस फम तफ आलून फम तफ आलू वलन तफ आलू फतुन्नारती वकूदा सो अल्लाह से इज दैन इफ लम डिड नॉट टफ अलू यू ऑल डू वलन एंड नेवर अल्लाह से इज नो यू कान यू कैन नेवर एवर ब्रिंग दिस टफ अलू यू विल डू फत हो दैन फियर सेव योर सेल्फ अनार द फायर अल्लाती विच वकूद हा इट्स फ्यूअल सो अल्लाह सुबहान अल्लाह तला इज सेंग आई एम थ्रोइंग अ चैलेंज इफ यू डू नॉट डू एंड यू विल नेवर बी एबल टू डू इट you will never be able to produce anything like the quran if you don't believe on it if you don't follow it you don't worship your lord then fear the fire whose fuel is men and stones prepare for those who disbelieve so this is a message for everyone all those who find the quran problematic all those who reject every existence of our allah subhanahu wa taala this ayah is a challenge to them look at the quran compare it with any other book does anything even come closer to its its eloquence its power effect content style no nothing absolutely nothing so that is the challenge uh, uh, throw over here so w- w- let's see the detail of this ayah and then we'll stop there inshallah so here it talks about they will never be able to ful- fulfill the challenge surah al isra they could never produce like of it the quran even if they were to assist fattaqu is from waw qafia is from wiqaya it is same root for word we learn for tattaqun what fattaqu same root word waw qafia fear save yourself وَقُودُهَا وَقَابْدَ This is used for fuel. Is taukada also from the same root word. So anasa the people wal hijara to and the stones. O it that it was prepared al kafirin for the disbelievers. So anas noon seen ya noon wow seen hamza noon seen already I explained you in detail. So let's move wal hijara to ha. Jin ra plural of hajar, ra literally means to stop, to prevent. There is a linguistic meaning and there is literal meaning. So the people of Jahannam are the fuel for the fire. The stones. O idat is from ain dal dal. Adat means to count, number. Here means to prepare something complete preparation. O idat it has been prepared, made ready. Lil kafirin means. believing prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam differentiates believes and non believe so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was a ideal ab so these are the people who don't believe so they are the people who are disbelievers so what allah says here when somebody is disbelieving it allah says give them good news who believe and do righteous deeds but the people who are not believing it before like you know ending it just want to make sure now allah subhanahu wa taala will talk about the righteous people till here it was the people who were in the shak who were in the right who were in the doubt so allah subhanahu wa taala throw a challenge if you are in a doubt bring a surah like it or a chapter like it or aya like it but you won't be able to bring it and you can never bring it and what is the end result for them that is the hell fire and what is the fuel of the hell fire that hajar stone and annas and the mankind that is because they were disbelievers may allah guide us all do join us live or you can listen to my lectures on on facebook and other media جزاك الله خيرا كثيرا سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد ان لا اله الا انت نستغفرك ونتوب اليك السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته